Hey guys, we are at the Contest Prep Center today, and guess who we are with? Hello, I'm back again. <laughs> All the way from the UK, and we are actually going to be picking out a suit color, and guess what? That's how much you're going to see of the secret Just coat. Just secret, secret coat. But we can tell you, it's not, it's not mustard yellow. <laughs> It's, it's not orange. It's not orange. It is it's not, not white. It's not brown and it's not white. She won't let me show it. She's like, no, we can't. We can't show it. It's top secrets. It's the launch. It's the launch codes. It's not allowed. It's not I thought she was here for two and a half months last no, night. No, I'm here for two and a half months. In, well, I'm coming down for six weeks or in April. But I thought I was coming down for six weeks now. We're only here for two days. <laughs> So, so, we're going to try and do as much as we can, but we're going to do pose, scans, bodywork, massage, train, all in two days. It's funny, I didn't have anything scheduled because I thought, I was like, oh, she's here for so long, we'll just figure it out, when we, we'll just do it when we do it, because she's here for two months, she's here until June, it's April, it's not even April, it's March uh, like 7th or 8th right now, so I was like, oh, she's here until June or something, so <laughs> didn't schedule, I didn't schedule anything, because I was like, oh, we got a ton of time, so now we were, we're getting it figured out in two days. So next we're gonna pose, we'll show you that. But we can't show you the suit. This is how much of the suit you get to see. That's all you get to see. <laughs> Pretty good. Thanks. Pretty solid. Yeah, pretty solid. Thanks, I've got <laughs> so obviously I love coming to the contest prep center to train, to work out, but my favorite thing of all time is to kind of see what's going under the hood, what's going on behind the scenes of an athlete. So today I got my blood work done. I just have to look oh, away. Yeah. Looking away is good. <laughs> that was one of my main things that I wanted to get done because health is a priority when it comes to competing. We also went and did my body scans, which was again, a really good indicator to, to kind of see what my measurements are, what everything looks like, um, and can kind of see what's going on within my body. And then we also got scraping done. So we also got massage done um, to make sure that my body is recovering better and my body's getting all the nutrients that I need um, and making sure that my muscles kind of open up a little bit more, um, all that type of thing. And this is why I love the Contest Prep Centre. Like, this is why I am here, because it's no joke. Like, I absolutely adore it here because it's next level and it's attention to detail from all the coaches and stuff like that as well like it's no joke but what i'm most excited for is alan says he has a new toy and we're gonna go try it out today and it's gonna be really really cool so let's go try it out well, basically a small electrical current that's gonna go to her shoulders and is going to basically help contract the muscles at a higher rate than she's ever contracted them before so we're gonna do it through exercise and it's gonna help her recruit muscle fibers that maybe are dormant in the, in the area. It's gonna help her recruit at a higher rate and then it's gonna affect her nervous system. So essentially we're just basically taking control of her nervous system here and um, forcing it to contract way more than it normally would. It doesn't like shock or anything, so don't be worried for it. I'm like, what's it gonna do to me? <laughs> I can't stop. You feel it? Yeah. You start seeing the muscles starting to activate. So if you look here, see it? That's all through this. this is yeah. pump. <laughs> a little bit of juice. You feel it? Yes. <laughs> Lateral raises. That's so weird. Yeah, so now even though she's lifting kind of lightweight and she's getting her normal contraction out as she would that she would this way, she's really getting they, they said they estimate about ten times the amount of contraction that she normally would because of how much activation is going on within the muscles. So cool thing is we'll take this, she'll take this to the UK, this activation, this like heightened sense of activation. Her nervous system is recruiting more muscle fibers than she has before. She'll take it to the UK with her, do her workouts over there and get more out of the workouts for a while. It doesn't you know, last forever. As we do this more often, she's gonna be here for five weeks in um, April, or May basically, 
and she's gonna get a way more activation out of these muscles, way more recruitment out of the muscle fiber, so it's gonna really pay, pay for itself in terms of her use of it. Let's pump it up a little bit. <laughs> and let's go for it. It feels really weird, it just feels like it's fuzzy. Shoulders can generally handle quite a bit. <laughs> just turn it up, turn it up a bit, right? <laughs> We still got another 60 points we can go. Go to 200. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so now even though she's resting, and her like she feels rested, her muscles are still recruiting and they're still working. So it's like a non-stop workout throughout this set. So you'll get crazy. The, the, the one thing is you get crazy, crazy shoulder pumps. Like, or any, whatever muscle you're working. I put it on my arms once and it was like, I only did like eight sets and it was because I was afraid that I wouldn't be able to move my arms yeah. the next day. There was a guy who did it and he put him on and he did like a full workout because he's all pumped up because he's getting this crazy pump. And then the next day he like literally couldn't move his arms down because like, he was so like tight. tight. And if he did, he would cramp. So he's so... Sorry, <laughs> kept hard now. So we're going to put this on the front now, on the front head. So one of the things about bikini is that front delt is really important. So most bikini competitors don't work chest. So because they don't work chest, they don't get that like the front delt as developed because when you work your chest, you use a lot of your front delt. So they don't get the front delt as developed because they're only doing maybe one exercise, you know, sometimes a week to actually target their front delt. So this is another good way of getting that to be more activated. Because if anything's gonna be you know, a little bit slow, it's gonna be that front delt on a, on a bikini pro. Just because they just don't work chest much, they don't do much front delt work. And so you gotta do a couple extra exercises for bikini pros, take into account they don't do chest. Because there's no reason for a bikini pro to be training chest or have chest, because it's gonna take away from her fitness model look of being that, you know, bikini fitness model pageant, you know, type of look. Um, separated chest line doesn't look good on a bikini pro. Look! <laughs> Oh, no! So this one will probably get more stim than the lateral head. This is going to be a really good example of waking up a muscle group that isn't targeted that much and getting the most recruitment out of it throughout this set. You can, you can see too the activation is just like super, super strong. That's very hard yeah. to get all the way. You want to do lighter weight? You can do lighter weight. All the way out. I can't get yeah. all the way out. It shows you the difference, right? Of like yeah. the, the muscles that have been recruited a lot. Two that kilos. Have. <laughs> think of, think of uh, trying to do an exercise when your muscles like fully contracted, like fully contracted. Your weights are gonna drop dr dramatically. It's almost like having your bicep already flexed and then doing a bicep curl. You're getting so much tension in the muscle. That's why she's using two kilogram weights right now, and it feels like it's 30 pounds. You know. Ah, oh, that's sore. It's the, the head of the shoulder, like here, that keeps twitching. Oh yeah? <laughs> Crazy, right? Is it starting up my hair, I can't tie up my hair. <laughs> <laughs> it really hurts, not hurts, but it stings. It's like a stingy, right? Yeah. yeah. You don't need a lot of weight. You actually can't use a lot of weight with these things. It's just, <laughs> it takes over too much of the action. The game plan is now, since we don't have to go after points, we just have to get a win, is to get a win, to get a win early, hope, ideally in the first show. I mean, you know how that goes, bikini, it could be, it could take 10. You just never know in bikini, you know? But hopefully she goes the first show, and then she just does big shows after that and starts carrying some momentum into the Olympia. That's the goal. As far as prep goes, we've been doing this for a year now. It took us, I think, I wanna say, probably about three shows where we really started nailing it. Mm. And then now it's like we got a, an established game plan. We have the peak week that worked. We're gonna just making minor changes to where it is. We know the ranges of carbs that she needs on her reload. We know the areas of physique that she needs to work on. We know yeah. the changes this season that have happened where she needs to be a tiny bit tighter in certain areas, etc. So like, it's pretty easy at this it's point to, to, do, to like, see to, it. Yeah, to make the small changes that's needed. Yeah. So I'm excited for this year. Yeah. Good so thank you guys for coming along the journey with me today. Um, it's been an absolutely amazing journey and this is why I'm here from the UK. Um, I'm a coach myself and even coaches need coaches. Like seeing all those tiny little details that I don't see myself, um, Adam can see them for me and that's why I have him as my second pair of eyes um, because he has the best pair of eyes that I kind of need to bring my physique to the next level. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.